I've just realized um, something that is probably useful to know that probably most people don't know about because it's quite subtle. Um, what I've done here is I've create, created um, some objects in Modeler. Basically just large strips. Now this bottom one here um, there's, there's about... Uh, well, let me just go over to Modeler. If you can see it might be a little bit easier. Okay, what I've created is these uh, eight polygons. Now the top ones are all separated. They're unwelded. So these vertic vertices aren't... they do not share vertices. So all of VRoom will treat these all like separate rooms. Uh, these bottom row here are actually these four are joined and these four, four are joined. So VRoom will treat these as one large room and another large room, whereas these up here will be eight separate smaller rooms. I'll just fire up F prime so you can see. I'll just remove the blinds. Let's go for none. Okay. And you can see that that is indeed the case. Okay, I'm sorry, there was an ice cream van outside so I had to close the window. Anyway, what we have here are those rooms, as I said. So, same amount of polygons, top and bottom, but different uh, rooms. So what does this have to do with the library structure? Well, if I can just find our library structure again, style 1, blinds, I'm going to make a new folder called Curtains. Give ourselves another garnish style. Okay, and I'm going to copy one Curtains image inside. So let's see what that now looks like. Curtains, curtains. Okay, so there's that curtain style. Very nice. So, V Room only has one choice of images, as that's all that's in the library at the moment. However, if I was to make a subfolder in here, let's call this sub style or sub curtains one and I can't actually see these images so I can't sort of do this ahead of time, but I'll give you the description first. The idea with this is that um the rooms that are have uh, joined polygons, where you use the joined polygons to create larger rooms, the idea is they will have the same garnish style. So when VRoom is allocating resources to, to rooms, interior images and garnish images, it will um, examine the room and if it has uh, larger, if it's made up of more than one window pane, it will, it will try to look for a sub style in here and look those up because it will assume that those are the uh, of the same style images so anyway so the idea is that a subfolder will contain a certain style of garnish whether that be a certain style of curtains or a certain style of blinds but you would expect um, a room with multiple windows not to have a mishmash of curtains and blinds and things like that in it. They would all be of a certain style. This allows you to set that certain style by using a subfolder. So in this subfolder, if you have a certain type of uh, 
garnish. Let's just drag. I'm just going to drag these three in. Copy here. Like I said, I didn't have time to examine what these actually are, but hopefully it will demonstrate the point. Let's just refresh this. So here we are. We've got this subdirectory. But let's just leave it on all at the moment. So now, um, Vroom can choose from all garnishes. It has a choice of the blinds or the curtains. So let's see what it does. <laughs> that looks like a uh, curtain with an inverted alpha for some reason. But ignoring that one, which I'll examine in a minute, you can see that we've selected for this room three curtains, and I would imagine they are from the subfolder. Let's just check that out. I'm just going to try and open these. Okay, and you can see that our subfolder contains these three curtain images which are of the same kind that have been chosen for that room. Whereas if we look up we have a mishmash of all kinds of curtains, blinds and things like that. So that's rather annoying but ignoring that error I hope this illustrates the point nicely. Okay, <laughs> what I've just managed to do is I've I've gone out and I've fixed the uh, the inverted alpha on that image. So now if I just fire up F prime, you can see all of our garnish images uh, have opacity opacity in the right places. So the point being. The, uh, if you have a subfolder inside of a garnish folder, uh, VRoom will pick that, and uh, with the logic being that that would be some sort of consistent type of garnish. For example, um, it will be a certain type of curtains or a certain type of blind or something that it would make sense to um, choose a certain subtype of that garnish for a certain room. And again here you can see all of the individual rooms up here have had randomly selected garnish images whereas the ones from the grouped rooms down here have uh, been chosen uh, more have been chosen from uh, a subtype. Now VRoom will always choose from a subtype where it can so that's an, again that's something else to consider because you might think it might uh, you could have like hundreds and hundreds of um, images and then one subfolder with one image in uh, and what VRoom will do in multiple paned rooms it will always go for the subfolder if one is present so just bear that in mind um, so that's about it really uh that should that's basically how the the library structure works again to give a qu very quick rundown you have the base folder here in which you have your styles inside of which there must be a folder called interiors which will contain the images of the walls and the ceiling any other folder is considered a garnish um, well, speaking of subfolders as well, if there's any subfolders in here in the interiors directory, they'll just be recursively scanned. Um, so subfolders don't actually do anything when it comes to interiors. It doesn't make any difference if they're in subfolders or not. Um, every other um, folder will be treated as garnish. And yeah, it's that simple. So I hope that's. Uh, cleared up some of the uh, some of the confusion and um, yeah hope it's been of some use